The Ministry of Mines, Energy and Rural Electrification is working closely with the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development to upskill local workers so they can operate the Tina River Hydro Power Plant upon its completion. Director Energy Gabriela Aymaya during the project's talkback show held recently said that plants are underway to offer scholarships to qualified officers and individuals starting early next year. Uh, we've been talking with uh, our Ministry of Education uh, and, and looking at uh, providing scholarships for, for our uh, young youths now, where out of our interest law, that for technical area law, engineering, we have deal with them hydro. So we, are, we propose to uh, the Ministry of Education, especially NTU, to start and, um, and look for uh, sponsors or give them scholarships to students now, because we are now in 2025, and some of these courses are four years. So we want them to start uh, implementing uh, or offering these uh, technical courses for students by next year. So that by 2028 or 2029 they graduate, they can join uh, the, 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 the Tina River Hydropower Project. So that is also one. Another one is we are working with Project Office in terms of capacity building for current SIG officers within the Ministry of Mines, the Ministry of Environment, so that they, uh, they can be, uh, we are also working on an attachment uh, based uh, uh, training with the Project Office so that or the government officer too by getting capacity for because the project always will finish on um, 29 early 29 early 29 <clears throat> so that is why it's very important that the transition period the government here must also aware of what now for doing Meanwhile, project manager Mr. Pradeep Verma confirmed that the developer of the project is also responsible for training locals to operate the machines from 2028 to 2058 Tina Hydropower Limited the developer will actually run the plant. They'll operate the plant and they'll supply the electricity and they will also maintain the plant. So when the generators, the turbines are being maintained, they will also be training Solomon Islands Electricity Authority employees during that period for 30 years. So it is also capacity building to be done by the developer. It's one of the responsibilities of, of the South Koreans. So that will happen. And then as Director Gabriel said, we have got this relationship with the project office. So we are working on the biodiversity management plans for the upper Tina catchment. That will continue uh, infinitely. I mean, you just can't stop that. So upper Tina catchment, coal land, the biodiversity management plans are being prepared and they'll be implemented during 30 years and even beyond that. So once we second people from MECDM and from MMERE to the project office, those people can be trained because the project office is actually working on those plans and helping with the implementation. They can be trained. And when the project office closes in 2029, the government of Solomon Islands can take over and make sure that the biodiversity management plans are implemented properly.